Welcome to Call of Duty Modern Stealth Fair. We have all your novelty items to hide you from everything in the game. Because if stopping power was overpowered, then this definitely isn't. Oh my god, that's not gay. 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 So welcome guys, this is Brad. And I got some Modern Warfare 3 for you. This is more G36 gameplay. So Peter, Mr. Ant Vanilla, you. Hope you enjoy it, you. And, uh, I want to talk about Assassin today, and, uh, Ghost, and whatever, any, the, whatever the perk is that hides you from everything and anything in the game is what I want to talk about today. So, so everyone knows that Ghost from Black Ops and Assassin and Modern Warfare 3, a lot of people use this shit, and so no one can detect them unless you get some certain things, but there's really no true way to counter this perk. So, what does that mean? That means if there's a full fucking lobby, or not a full lobby, but a full team rather, you know, all six guys on the enemy team using this hide from radar perk, hide from kill streaks perk, and it's like, how the fuck do you find him? Is it overpowered? Is it? Is it? Is it? Maybe it is. But like one of the things it, it's been driving me a little crazy is uh, like I I don't know maybe maybe the developers didn't think this, but maybe maybe they were thinking that stopping power and juggernaut were overpowered, or maybe they realized more people use those and that's why they decided to move it but at the same time they made the fucking hide from radar perk the most powerful one and of course it only it only affects you if you call in a UAV but think of it in COD 4 and World of War terms everyone had a UAV you always had it so wouldn't that make it much more powerful in the older game since it was the UAV was more prevalent but you know think of it in this way it's like a lot of people you know uh, you know if you have if you have, if you can hide from everyone then their stopping power is kind of useless because, hell, if they, if they can't see you, how can they shoot you? So, unless you go head on. And it, 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 it pisses me off when, they, when the fucking developers, they want it, they want it, they talk about this balance and shit like that. Like, oh, oh this is the most balanced game ever. Ha ha ha. But you have a fucking perk that's better than all the perks in the game. So, you know, why, 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 quick draw, for example. Quick draw is really not that useful. It's convenient. But really? Aim faster. Hide from UAVs, portable radar, sass, or, you know, you know, all that shit. It's like, what? What? I think they should have, uh, kept the fast aiming with the fucking sleight of hand, or, or maybe the quick draw, the sleight of hand, and perks a lot, too. It, it, it's, it, it's, it's stupid. There, I think there should also be a counter to the assassin. Why couldn't they make, like, uh, a perk? Like, uh, let's say, let's say, like, four people have assassin on. Then there's also another perk in the same category or something. And then maybe if you put this on, everyone except two, or maybe maybe even one person, all of them except one or two people would show up on the radar. And uh, th this could help balance or compete with the other perk, because then essentially, if you, let's just call it Spy or something, I don't know, Spy, okay. So you have Spy, and everyone with Assassin or Ghost or whatever it's going to be in the next game, like, they will show up on your UAVs. But here's the catch. If they don't have it, then you're kind of wasting your perk slot. Just as, like, if you don't have UAVs, they're wasting their perk slot if they put Ghost on to begin with. It, then you'd probably argue, oh, well, it's a counter to a counter. That's not right. But then you could think of it this way. This is kind of a shitty example, but it works because the perk is kind of gay. But look at uh, Danger Close or the other explosive increasing things, like from World at War and Modern Warfare 2. I think it was Fireworks in World at War and then Danger Close in Modern Warfare 2. But you also had, you had Blast Shield in Modern Warfare 2, and you had the Flak Jacket in World at War to counter explosives a little bit. But you also have the perk to increase explosive damage. So what is it? Is the increased explosive damage the counter to the decrease explosive damage? Or is the decrease damage the counter to the explosive increase? There's something to fucking think about in your goddamn noggin. I don't want to think about it because my brain will explode because I'm a stupid American. And uh, the same could be said for the ninja and sit rep. Well, let's say hypothetically they actually did fucking work against each other. Like, so is ninja the counter to the regular hearing default footsteps? Or is it the counter to sit rep? I don't know. Could be the other way around. But who knows? Who knows what the developers were thinking? So essentially if you have this spy perk, like uh, these two random assholes will remain hidden. Rightfully so, but then you'll still find Kerrigan, Stinky, Stretch, and Fatso, so I don't see what the problem with that is, but then I guess if only two guys are using it, well, your perk's kind of useless, and then you should just switch to something else. So what about that bullshit? And another thing I think could be could be uh, made in the next game, possibly, rather than making the stealth perk so fucking powerful that it's, it's, it's like fucking God over 
a uh, bag of potato chips. It's 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 a uh, make it fucking weaker. God damn it! Just make it weaker. Make it only hide from UAVs. Put the hide from portable radar and whatever the fuck you have in the game back to Ninja or some other perk, or maybe combine it with Blast Shield again, like Nano Suit V3, and then it hides your I don't know fucking protects you from explosives, radar shit, uh, like the portable radars. But I don't know. Those are, those are just some j suggestions, and and to actually make the Ghost Assassin perk weaker, other like I like I said, you make it only UAVs. But make it take five seconds to start working after someone responds. Like, how fucking annoying is it walking around for eight minutes, eight to nine minutes in a fucking TDM, looking for these guys, just fucking hiding? It slows the game down. You can still beat them in the game, but it's just so fucking annoying that it's so goddamn slow. And it's like, make it take five seconds to work after they spawn. That way, it's like I'm calling my UAVs, I'll have a general sense of where they're spawning at. That way, it doesn't the, the spawn system doesn't fuck me over to begin with. If, like it does all the time, let alone, like, even when they don't have the goddamn pork on, the spawns still fuck me over. And, yeah, I, I combine that with the most powerful perk in the game, you got some major spawn fucking over. But, uh, in, in no way do I think that the, the damn thing should be removed, because then it would ruin Search and Destroy. Like, if you're the last guy alive, and you have Cold Bloods on, well, if it detects everyone except one or two guys, and you're the last alive, well, you're in that goddamn open window frame of happiness. So they're not going to find you. It makes a clutch actually fucking possible. And by no means, there should not be a 100% counter to it either. And let's just say, you know, keeping the perk as powerful as it is, like Cold-Blooded from Modern Warfare 2. If you had Cold-Blooded from Modern Warfare 2, hide you from UAVs, thermal, and air, and, uh, air support. I was about to say airstrike again. Like, that's as much as I think it should do. Like, nothing more. And, uh, on my channel, I have a playlist called Call of Duty Ideas, and it's like, I think it was the Call of Duty Futuristic, maybe the SWAT one as well, but I was like, you know, what, what if there were three UAV slots? Maybe even different types of radar finding stuff, like, you know, you got your three-kill personal UAV, a five-kill team one, maybe at six could, maybe at six or seven there could be sonar, which detects people that don't have ninja on or something, and then maybe at nine, you have the Blackbird. But maybe these radar perks, or the, all the—I mean, not not radar perks, but the the kill streaks, or maybe even every kill streak could be placed into categories. That way, it'd make the radar less prevalent, thus less people would find the incentive to even use the goddamn hide from radar perk. So you have, let's say, you have your radar kill streaks, your airstrike kill streaks, and then your air support kill streaks. So in your air, in your radar, you got UAV, sonar, blackbird, advanced UAV. I don't know. And then your airstrike one, you got your Stealth Bomber, Precision Airstrike, Napalm, whatever, you name it. And then in your air support one, you'd have something like an attack helicopter, your Pavel, your AC-130, or whatever is in there. It would keep it like the same concept of the killstreaks in, in COD 4 and World at War terms. Well, I guess not World at War, because we didn't have air support, we had dogs, but... You know, whatever. Just to, like, you know, it'd be sort of similar, but you would you would have to pick which radar do I want, etc., etc., and then at the same time, you could possibly throw in another perk to compete with the stopping power, the juggernaut, the ghost, or whatever you want in there. And then this would this would uh, this would this would uh, take away the restriction of being only uh, picking one from each. You, you know, you get your three you get your three picks between okay, one thing in radar, one thing in airstrike, one thing in air support. So take that away. I want to pick I want to pick UAV, advanced UAV. And then my predator missile or something, as long as you know they don't conflict with the same kill streak requirement. Or maybe I want precision air strike, stealth bomber. Ass I was about to say Assassin's Creed. I was thinking AC-130. I was like Assassin's Creed. No, AC-130. The fucking whatever the fuck. Or maybe maybe you're even a freaking big ass kill whore guy. You want your you know you get your fucking attack helicopter, Pavlo, and AC-130. Don't even worry about the radar and airstrike. As long as you got that perk, you can do it. So, that's the end of the video, guys. I had more to talk about, but that's going to be it. Also, the music used in the video is by White Comic. I'll link their channel in the description. They're like a, a band in England. They're not really too popular yet, but their music is fucking awesome. So, if you guys like it, I don't know if you could hear it too well, but it's awesome. I'll see you guys later. But Brad! But Brad! Brad! The link's only going to be on your channel! Whatever shall I do? Ha <laughs>